the Game Room Podcast. Hear myself, because it sounds odd. Axe oh, murderer. Oh Axe my gosh! Murderer. So I have Axe a question murderer. for all you. I've been Fucker. asking everyone this. Uh huh. Okay. Mother. There are okay. three superpowers you right. can get, but <laughs> one of the if you choose a superpower, it comes with a consequence. Of course. Mm-hmm. The first superpower is you're able to fly. Okay. okay. But you're a potato with no arms and legs. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So I'm a, like you just fly. No, just a body in your head, and you're just flying. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Oh, you know, not, not an actual potato. Not yeah, we're fine. Not an actual potato, but like the your, body your, of a potato. <laughs> your body of a potato with or a just head, no, no with no arms, with, with no limbs, That's other, funny. but you can fly. Yes. So you're a human rocket, essentially. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. The next not one. Not the first is, time I've been called that, by the way. <laughs> the next one is superhuman strength. Uh huh. The but. size of a little person. Uh-oh. Fuck yeah! Okay. I would like that actually. A little bit smaller than you, and you do wobble like them. <laughs> okay, not? so we're, we're talking like four foot. That's only a foot yes. shorter than me now. Okay, so that's <laughs> they, fine. No, that's about the size of a dog. Yeah, but they always have big penises, or, so I'm cool with that. Vern Troyer's got a honey yeah. right now. Or mind abilities. You can move stuff Fuck with your mind, no. mess with people, uh-huh. and, but you look like Quasimodo. But if I can mess with people, <laughs> I, like like I can make you, people do what I want to do. So I literally, I can walk into like, the Playboy Mansion and like, okay, I'll give you your mind. Um, Kilgraves like, that fucks people up. Yeah. So um, ooh, or Unity. Or you have to work into Morty. it. It's not. Am right. I a li- that's weird? Am I a little person that's strong and has a big penis? I added that part in. It had to <laughs> that 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 thing. <laughs> or do I look? Uh, you don't get ugly. it right away. You work into the mind. Oh, so you're you like it. ugly, and then you like, <laughs> you work and then eventually the you get it. You're, you're like just a just like anyone <laughs> who can eventually control their strength and whatnot. Okay. And someone, Brooke said she wants to fly and be the potato. All I can picture her is being like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like it, 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 your, your sister just wants to be a flying potato, <laughs> and, and I can't help it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> like they make it makes a farting noise. Have y'all seen the Rick and Morty the episode in the new season where it's like disqualified? It's like the giant yeah space the, the, the the space they like, look like the this. Oh, it's, it's my like background thing on Playboy. But what would you choose? Like well, that? Uh, would you look like that? The guy in the sky? Yeah, pretty much. That's okay, all I actually, but like, disqualified. I. <laughs> That's what I would do if I was. I, I would do that because then I would be this bitch, and I would just like make people. I would make people yeah. fucking compete against each other, and I would destroy their world if they suck. I would just become a god. Oh uh, yeah, pretty I much. I won this. I just like, won this game. Two with the mental. This is a dumb I've game. Had a yeah. bunch of people who said they wanted these little people with strength. Yeah, but I, mean, I would. I mean, but you see, you can walk. Yeah, you can. I can see that. It's but it, it's I, I like the idea. I, I think it's one of those things because you and I are very social people. Uh, Brooke's Brooke, so, the only one that. If I'm gonna be potato, potato. <laughs> if I'm gonna be fucked up. I'm gonna make everybody else be fucked up. Too. Such a great question. It brings out the best of people's yeah, thinking processes for this. So so okay. <laughs> Welcome to episode fifty-eight of the Father Gamer Podcast. We are fucking back. I Yay! can finally say a cuss word. Yeah, I know. I'm the I'm the game of the year thing. We... Speaking of, I was told not to say a cuss word. I didn't say one. His ass said like three. I said three. three. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Well, because we were talking about Wander, and I couldn't help but say fuck. Like I, that game was so terrible. We're not at the movie theaters. No. What? <laughs> fuck this. Oh, okay. So anyway, so TGP <laughs> episode fifty eight. We are back. I have been in death's grip. For basically four months, um, I like I said on the game of the year. I, there was moments when I was laying there. I had mono, and I was laying on the ground, wishing the cold hand of death would just take me. And hey, part of Grim Fandango. It, 
That's how I feel. I think like that came out while it was actually in. I feel the same way about wedding planning, to be completely honest. Well, yeah, you're doing that, and it sucks. I feel the same way about I'll, fire. Let me let me plan <laughs> the wedding. Let me totally plan. I'm not kidding you. I would plan the coolest wedding. I was an Imagineer for God's sake. <laughs> like you, you might have I to like keep your hands killed. and legs in there. I'm at the point I where I like mind. am expected to go make appointments to like a fucking tablecloths. <laughs> really? Yes, that's where I'm at right now. Oh, and, do me a favor, red. Everything red. <laughs> Are they doing Bates a red in the blood wedding? of my enemies. <laughs> so, <laughs> Who's dying? <laughs> um, so yeah, I I've been I've been very sick. Um, it screwed up um, everything for pretty much four months. So, but we're back. We recorded the game of the year. Um, I'm kind of having to work through all of my health stuff and get back up to shape. I. Uh, Gained some weight, unfortunately, that I I lost about 100 pounds, and oh, I gained like about 100, 40 of it back. You lost like 150 pounds. 150 pounds, pounds yeah, so. total, and I gained about 40 back. But that's whatever. I went through some depression. By the way, when somebody says depression, you can't catch it. <laughs> like, I have noticed that, like, I'm, I'm depressed. I actually had somebody step back from me. It's like, seriously? It, seriously. So, so they put me on, they put me on this thing. You ever heard of Wellbutrin? Yeah. Okay, so they put me on that. Sounds like a nice name, too. So right. It's some, some like being well. Well. Butrin. butrin. <laughs> and it it has a few side effects. Oh. One is like... Big dick syndrome. It does! Help me. <laughs> Hold on. Holy shit. I just shite. need to cover my ears. La, 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 la. No, dude, okay. Okay, you, the three guys here in the room. By the way, I introduced none of you guys for the intro of the show. You did not. So, um, uh, okay, let's start off. Big I'm Eric Gibbs, the father gamer. No, you're not. Next to me on my virtual right. Big and J. my real right, yes, is <laughs> Kyle. Big J. Big J. <laughs> to my left is... Mike. Mike. And Mike Check. Dildo. And Mike Dildo. Mike Check, Mike Dildo. And then we've got... Darth Katie. Katie. Darth Katie. <laughs> oh my god! I knew she was a Dark sin. Lord of the Sith. I knew it. Shut your face. So anyway, so, so they, they put me on the Wellview train. You said you were going to be a god so, like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> so, the, you know? so the three of us understand, the three guys in here understand. I mean, Katie, I'm not going to judge you. You might understand. <laughs> um, no. I... I I mean, <laughs> you know, you might not Just know everything. Just flop it on the yeah. table. You know what? Ah. Don't judge. Um, so, no, what, 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 you know in high school when things started to, you know, blossom and, you know, the wind would blow and you would get a stiffy, basically. Yeah, as, puberty? Yeah. There that's you go. basically what it was like yeah. starting those pills, which was nice for me, <laughs> not for my mutual other. So, thank you, <laughs> doctor, for basically giving house. me, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 Is it prescribed? That, that, basically giving you I'm not entirely doctor. sure, but I think a common friend of ours got a view that she will never, <laughs> ever forget. And, uh, Poked in the eye. Yes. <laughs> so, the doctor, so, the doctor pretty much just prescribed you blue balls? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But I'm happy. So, what the fuck? <laughs> so, anyway, so, I am back. We are back. We should be recording. It's Viagra, but for the mind as well. Yeah, pretty... Kind of. That should be on the box. That would be great marketing, actually. It makes your mind horny. But, well, um, boners. They should yes. just rename it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, mind bon- no, well, well boners. boners. Well boners. Well boners. <laughs> Formerly known as well boners. You can have, like, a, put a comma in there. AKA Viagra for the Make mind. Make sniff, a stiffness. Um, <laughs> so, sniffness and sniffness. And sniffness. Well, you never know. It depends on the person. We all have... Whoa, my screen went black. Okay, so... Um, I wanted to bring up something right quick, going from something like that, well, fade to black, actually, on this one, this is is a terrible segue, uh, wanted to bring up, uh, David Bowie passed away. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, the Goblin King, um, but to me, like, I'm a huge David Bowie fan. I mean, the guy had 27 albums. Like, a lot of people can't say, but... I know David Bowie had a really great sense of humor, and the fact that he died at 69 is just... (laughs) Like didn't Alan uh, Alan Rickman was and, Alan Rickman and, and, was sixty nine too. Alan Rickman died sixty nine too. Cancer. Yeah, and then um, uh, yeah, it's like it's been a few like somebody else was sixty seven. Yeah, it's they were all on tour together. Apparently, or it's the new one hundred. So <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's gonna be on the box too. They should have been all be taking twelve U turns. But I I was actually Alan Rickman. I was a huge fan of. It's yeah. it's funny though. You could tell. Um, David Bowie was the same way as Alan Rickman when you would look on Facebook and stuff. You would see by generation, 
their version of David Bowie, what was their favorite, like, a lot of people, I know, in their 20s, it was the 80s David Bowie, the mm-hmm. China Girl, and all that stuff. Yeah. Mine was more of the 70s David Bowie. And Alan Rickman, it was like, for anyone in their 20s, it was like, Snake died. And for, like, <laughs> anybody in their 30s, it was like, oh my god, the bad guy from Die Hard died. Like, right. it was kind of like... Which I completely forgot about. Yeah, that, that for me, that's like one of my favorite movies. So, yeah. just like, oh my god. I watched Galaxy Quest. I was right going to say, oh, Galaxy yeah. Quest and... Grab, grab Thor's Hammer and that... And that and that Grapthor in it, or he's also right, by Grapthor's hammer, yeah. by the sons of Warvam, or something like that. Yeah, I've, you shall be you avenged. Seen, oh, Galaxy You've never Quest. seen Galaxy? No, Quest? Y'all, okay, okay. I'm just gonna remind everyone Story that I time. haven't watched. <laughs> I, I like didn't watch movies growing up, so I know. When the everybody Am- fucking the Amish remember community this. Where you had the penis, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Practically Amish. It was in Pennsylvania. It was. <laughs> <laughs> there were also on my trip some like straight up. Amish Mennonite people on our mm. plane, and I was like, "Nice." Do they think this is? I thought they didn't think this existed. You know, as like, long as it didn't have buttons, it was good. Well, the Mennonites, <laughs> I think, are the ones that have their they're allowed, like they have some technology, right? Apparently I, enough, they made, they I, made how, their own how dresses. How old but did they look? There was like two girls that were my age. Because well, I'm see, see, Rob Springer. No, but then they had like a dad, like a, they, a dad with a crazy fucking beard and a fat. Yeah. Well, of course he's got to go on it with they, they, they go had, crazy. They had, they had their little hair coverings over their buns, mm-hmm. and you could tell that they made their own dresses. I was like, you know, you do you, honey. But I didn't think you thought planes worked. You it's know, okay. like, they don't listen to our I'm just saying, no, of course, fun dad of them. wants to go with them on run Springer. They could spend like every day spring break from. Since they could go. If I remember correctly, the Mennonites are actually, they're okay with technology, but they still. No, there. Yeah, there are. Like, they still have just a little bit though. Like they have electricity and they'll use, phone they'll and use farming like, equipment and stuff. They'll have farming equipment. I, I was kind of just making their, a joke. <laughs> yeah, their horse and buggies will have like tires on them. I just want to do. I, that. I, I like, like actual I, I, like hard My entire my entire right. thought is there's no Wi-Fi. That's like it's like <laughs> I can't do this. It's not happening. So, so um, they can read the Harry Potter book. Yeah, so they can read the Harry Potter book. So Fox. yeah, I, I and I also did David That's Bowie. Wrong. Yeah, wow. Well, Hello. What's David the Bowie. box? But, oh. Is that going to be a new monthly subscription, the David Bowie box? Yes. <laughs> that is so popular. Oh, like, oh, oh, God. Oh, that's going to be the but next his... freaking... Uh, <laughs> what's that shit that gets sent to your house? I forgot it. Yeah, Nerd a subscription box. box. Yeah. A box? No. What's it called? Nerd, nerd Crate or Loot Crate. Loot Crate. Loot Crate. crate. No, there is a Nerd yeah. Crate. So. There's one for everything. There's a Cat Lady box. There's a box. Yeah, there's there's literally a, a Cat Lady box. There's, yeah. the, there's the body stuff wash. Yeah, it's, it's, a little, it's a little piece of... The Eric ate himself. <laughs> it, that so one time? They, they have like a re- replica of, <laughs> of, just of his uh, crotch from, um, from Labyrinth. Like, it's a <laughs> molding of yeah. his It's literally junk. a dick in a box. Yes. Like, <laughs> That's great. It's a molding of I love Look at you. In all creative. seriousness, though, David Bowie, and love yeah, it was, I absolutely, I listened to his last album, Black Star, which he released on, on his birthday, his... and he died two days later. Yeah. And he had a song in it, Lazarus. And it was, it's very creepy when you listen to it. Like, really? yeah, it's kind of, hearing is just really cool and really creepy. But what was anyway. The... Black Star is the name Black of the album. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Yes, it's called Labyrinth. So I'm gonna let's go ahead and let's move into. Dance we're so excited dance. to have this show back. So let's go ahead and go into big what's big in your yes, big day. Yeah. What's in your system? What's in your system? It could be a big day. Oh, <laughs> oh my hat! <laughs> They so, do have browsers on, on both of the consoles, so you can look up all the big dicks you want. Yes, yeah, you can. <laughs> Thank goodness. It's a game all about Richard Nixon. Um, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and start this time. Okay. Because it's my fucking show. So, um, <laughs> I know. it's. I caught it when I was, had mono. Um, <laughs> and pneumonia. And pneumonia and pleurisy and everything else. Uh, the last game on my li- list, of which happened to be my number two game of the year, um, which you could listen to our Game of the Year special, uh, was, is, that I've been playing, is Tomb Raider, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, so, Tomb Raider you played it, 2 of the revamp. Yes. Yeah. Cool. You, you, you played it, uh, Kyle. Oh, oh, yeah, I did. I played it as soon as it came out. Yeah, well, I got it as soon as it came out, but it was in that collection of, I had a huge stack of games, and I... I played a lot. I don't remember a lot, but I played a lot. I played and one day of Fallout, and I was like, you know, I don't want to kill it. And I put in Tomb Raider, and it was nothing but Tomb Raider until I beat it. Tomb Raider's so good. Like, did you play... 
I played the first. I played the. Did one. you enjoy the? Yeah. The re- yeah and I really did, and I'm usually not like it. Reminds me a lot of Uncharted, um, in the gameplay very style. Very much. And so. so I like that I can collect things and do things, but when it comes to shooting waves of enemies, I'm a fucking idiot, and I hmm. cannot win. So like, I get to, I kind of get, I hit brick walls with games like that. But then Austin usually picks it. Austin picks it up for me because he's so nice, and will beat the parts that I can't fucking beat. <laughs> there, there are in there are. And Waves. it's a little bit, and it's a little bit intense when I played the first one. It was, yeah. so there's some moments, and I don't do I, the I, darkness. The same thing with Fallout. She doesn't really get is I would say is beat up. Yeah, as she did in the first really. one. Really, I was like, like she does, but not quite. I mean, the it's, first I one, would say it's not to the intensity. It's not as visceral. As but the I, first one. I recommend, I recommend Tomb Raider to like anyone, especially anyone that enjoyed like Uncharted. It, so it, it's a it, game that I definitely recommend for people. I feel bad for the people when we have PlayStation. Well, the 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 DLC uh, should be out right now for mm-hmm. it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I I'll be playing it. I'll probably be streaming it actually in the next couple of days. So, so it's an Xbox it's exclusive right now uh-huh. at the moment. Okay. It's not an PC, I think it's PC as well. Next, I think in the next few weeks. Because it's Microsoft. Well, it's also I I I looked at some of the PC stuffs. I have to admit, I almost wish I had a PC that could do it. Mm-hmm. They've teamed up with a ton of people. It is. It was already pretty on the Xbox. It is beautiful on the PC. Like, the environments, when she walks past stuff, each branch has individual movement on the PC version. I don't doubt it. So, it, 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 and it already on the Xbox is probably one of the prettiest games 4K I've monitors and crazy. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Expensive. They come out first 15 bajillion I mean, dollars. Yeah. Arkham Knight is supposed to look yeah. extremely pretty. Well, yeah. Ar- Arkham Knight, we're no, we won't get into how bad <laughs> that was for PC. That was, it was the Joker. He took over. He, it was all it was. So, Tomb Jared Raider, Leto. again, highly recommended. If you played the first one, play the second one. It's a lot bigger, a lot more stuff to do. A lot of more FU. Oh, there's a lot of more FU. A lot. What are you Italian? All of a sudden, a lot of more FUs. Um, <laughs> thank you, Mario. Um, Hello. Uh, I also Hello. I also play Call of Duty, the the Black Ops Three, the Black Ops Three. Like the I'm like Black Ops. <laughs> get those kids off my lawn. Go <laughs> get the marijuana. Um, Black, all the mess. All, all the mess. <laughs> Black Ops Three. I was surprised. I'm uh, having fun with it. I well. I, I've been one of those people that kind of Call of Duty's been hit or miss. Pretty, pretty. Like Ghost was pretty rough. Um, pretty rough. Oh, it was shit, terrible. that was the shit, like the ship sinking at that. Point. Yeah, it was, but the thing I like about this one was the campaign is actually fun. It's an Inception campaign. Yeah, it's very. Will very you mind have up. to pay attention like, to that bastard? Yeah, it is. It is a very, very crazy story, and it. So you got the campaign, you have got the the uh, the co op stuff, which is really well done. Like the, the four player co op campaign the, is a pretty awesome, which is really good. the The multiplayer stuff like is really crazy. It's kind of Titanfall ish meets Call of Duty. I mean, you're running across walls and stuff. It is very tight. Like they the made, controls are very good. The leveling a lot harder. and the customization. Like I, anyone who's seen my Instagram knows, is like. Look at what I did. I put TFGP on everything. <laughs> like it's like the cod piece, yes, you TFGP, did. like everything I could yeah. So I love I love customization in games like that and they did a really good job. And then you got the zombie stuff and the zombie stuff. The the regular just going in and playing the missions is great, but it actually has an entire storyline. Really? Yeah, they have storylines. Which very good. which is really good. So I felt compared to Battlefront, which I talked about on our game of the year. I felt like I got more bang for my buck. Like, I felt like it was actually a lot more of a value for, for what I got. The zombie stuff that you're talking about, is that mm-hmm. the one that you normally would play with Kelsey? Yeah, that's the one I played okay. with my youngest daughter. Um, it they, was, like, back in the past. Yeah, I but they, the, the new one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. did you get the Which is really cool. I actually it. enjoyed watching um, that. I'm probably going to pick that up. because I have it. The Giants is awesome. You actually plays the characters from World at War. Oh, really? Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, I would highly recommend it if, if you're a Call of Duty fan. Now, a game that kind of fits into the same mold, but not really. Uh, Kyle and I have been playing the <laughs> I hell gotta out of it. I get ready for this. I know what we're coming yeah, yeah, make sure you're loud you're on making, this one. Yeah, it was going to say you're making like a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah, oh, I had to drop some stuff <laughs> he, he took some Elbutrin. the mic. So, um, <laughs> Rainbow, Six, Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to pick it up. Like, I was just like... 
no, not my. And then everybody was like, "You've got to pick it up. You've got to pick it up." Oh my gosh, the best fucking first person shooter I've ever played. <laughs> it is. It is well, well co- competitive to me. Yes, for technical, holy shit. But how long did y'all wait between? Was it Rainbow Six Vegas Two? There was a canceled one, right? Patriots, yeah, or something Patriots. like that. And then, it, and then they announced Siege, and then it was like fucking forever before it came out. So. I'm glad it was actually well done. Yeah, it's very well done. I'm very happy. It's, it's the it's good. how it, it is very. It, it comes off as a very simple game, but there's complexity to it, and and you and knowing how to use your character, how to it has unlocks sort of like a um, you basically have to unlock certain characters as you go through yeah, that you, you can use your abilities and. Uh, if you can find that right team, like I played with Colby and I played with uh, Kyle and I played with uh, a mutual friend of ours, Tracy's husband. Um, you can wreck Sean. Oh, yeah. You have to have a, <laughs> if you have a team of five people you know, you're going to destroy them. For sure. It's Playing great. with randoms, you might want to shoot yourself in the face. No, that's terrible. <laughs> and a lot of rage quit with, quit with that I've had, where it's like, well, we're not winning, quit. And then if it's the person that's that basically is party leader, it'll, it'll, it'll boot you out. I will say, the nicest thing about it is, their DLC will be free. Yep. So the Good eight operators them. coming out are free. And, and they, each... They announced the first two. Oh, did they? Yeah, Frost and Buck, I think they're Canadian operators. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. yeah their, their stuff is really cool. I only have... two more to unlock. Oh, I've unlocked all of them. Um, you better it's, believe it. It's, it's crazy, though, like... The the it's basically capture, search and destroy, and search and destroy, and it's very simple. Like go into this building, but then almost everything there's like so much that's destructible. Like your character can blow up walls. Your character can do this to get from point A to point okay, B. Yeah, I saw you playing that. Thing. And it's funny. It's the one I'm thinking. It's of. great because like especially if we're, like we were on a team and we're like, okay, we'll send in our drones. Yeah, and they have no idea where we're at. And we're basically behind another wall, and they're on the opposite wall thinking we're going to come in through the other door. <laughs> we blow up that wall, we're just like, hey, motherfuckers, and we just mow them down. Like, it's just great. It's just my favorite <laughs> one was with Olby and Brandon and two of Colby's friends. We were all shields. Oh, really? We trolled with the shield patrol. Yeah, you can just, just stand there and just, like, walk <laughs> forward, and you can get hit quite a few times. Yeah. The see the thing is when they're trying to break the diffuser, you can't shoot it. You actually have to walk up to it and break it. Uh, so we just sat there and pop people as they came up. <laughs> so and they they have terrorist time, which is actually pretty fun too. It is old. Um, mode. It's the old mode. Are you okay, Mike? Not dying on me there, are you? Sorry. Oh, that well butrin in the water. Um, <laughs> Don't fucking say that. Yes. <laughs> But anyway, um, I again highly recommend it. You've been playing Katie Story of Seasons <laughs> and Fallout Four. And Fallout Four, yeah, it's quite it's quite the mix I've got going on. We'll we'll get a little more into the Fallout Four. Um, um, Literally just building settlements. Yeah. Just like we're we're gonna have we're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have a small like it, it'll be another episode that'll be coming out about the same time this episode is of some of our favorite stuff of 2015. So we'll we'll definitely talk about Fallout and and all that stuff. So. Um, Mike, you finally got a PS4. Yay. I did. So welcome yay. To, to now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any money, but yay! Yeah, you got a, you got Grow Home, but it was free, wasn't it? Grow Home was free. Yeah, yeah, it was a PlayStation Plus game. Yeah, it was a PlayStation Plus not too long ago. And we played a little, I think, were you over <laughs> when, when I got, when I played it the first time? No. Okay. Actually, I think I played that with a Ransom, so it's it's fun. But I also have Taken King, so that was fun. Or is fun. Is fun. Whenever I do play. I at some point will play with you. But I've, yeah. Again, you better. And we talked about that in our game of the year. But it, like the the problem with that game at Destiny after you finish, the you're stuff not much is waiting for the next. Yeah, you're just yeah, kind of like I'm done. Game. I got all my I've got all my stuff. I can wait till next year. Yeah, I got the next... touch of mouse. So was like done. Yeah, not that's the hardest gun much. to get. So and far. anything else, Katie? You've been playing? I mean, really, for me, story of seasons. I. It's not a gamey power through, like literally. It's just fucking about? Harvest Moon, what are you, you know. About? You should totally power through that game. No, because then you, you get some crops. You go say, "Hey, what's up to the party?" People? I thought you said crops. <laughs> like literally, <laughs> and a fanny pack. I believe I'm. I think I mapped it out. Like I, I believe a, a day. Like if you're doing going to bed at a good time, so you're not like sick the next day, mm-hmm. is like 15 minutes. In a in a season is 30 days. 
you're looking at 15, if you're if you're playing the oh way you God. should, 15 <laughs> minutes over like times 30, I I, I can't can do that math because I'm an English major. So, but it's just a long it's, time. It's it's time. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, it's numbers. You know, if you're if you're a real nerd and you do soft resets to do better things and do better and. You know, uh, that can take a hard. long time. It's like doing soft resets and hard resets, hard resets in Pokemon. There's yeah. no fast way to do it. No. Are you going to GameStop for your Pokemon mm. starting in February? In February, Mew is Oh, yeah, they're doing GameStop. they're doing all the uh, all of the, what are they called? The, the like, you, yeah, you can get a, a bunch of different game. legendaries that they're giving out. It starts with you can download in February it. for Pokemon. 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 For the DS? Yeah. Like for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. What game? Omega the, Ruby Alpha, Alpha, Alpha Sapphire. Or X and Y. Yeah, the 3D, and, the 3D, and, the 3D, and 3D they basically have a little port. Basically, it's it's a Wi-Fi thing. Basically, you go in, they'll say, "Hey, I read it, read it on your game," and you mm-hmm. download it into your game. Basically, they've been doing that for yeah, they've been doing that. Yeah, for, they've been doing it for a while. Like a backwards compatible Mew. Mm-hmm. No, it's, just, it's, it's actually it's, a level one hundred Mew. It's just a it'll Mew. work. Yeah, no, I'm just saying it goes like all the way back. to No, XY. they just you know no, they just put it in. You can one. you can have either X or Y or yeah. Sapphire or Ruby. One of those copies. You can port Mew into yeah, so basically or, you have Mew but it's not coming. It. It's not coming from like your copy of Yellow. It's literally just a Mew they're giving you. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And that's coming out. But it's not just um, Mew. Yellow, they're doing a bunch of tons. It's every month, month is a new one. Month. Mm-hmm. So anyway, huh. so I'm going to go ahead and take our first quick break, and uh, and then we'll be right back. This week's artist spotlight is Woodlock. You can find out more about this band on our show notes. I build a kingdom I build a kingdom to tear my walls down
And we're back. Nothing happened at all while we were gone. So nothing at nothing all. Nothing at all. Um, not actually, great. some stuff happened, and it will be in the outtakes on the end of the show. So that was very oh, interesting. Stay tuned. Yeah, a lot of editing for me. So let's get into talk nerdy to me. Talk nerdy to me. Um, Dustin over at Cinelinks wrote a really cool article about uh, everything we know so far about Nintendo's new console, the NX. Uh, go to Cinelinks.com, check it out. Don't really want to go over it too much because it's a lot of speculation, but I'm kind of excited and kind of nervous at the same time because it is Nintendo. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and go into, well, there's a new X-Files by the time this comes out. Uh, I, think, I believe it's this Sunday. I love X-Files. Like I, when the show, we didn't need a sound effect, but thank you, Mike. Uh, when the show originally <laughs> came out, um, yes, I was alive and watching shows at the time. Well, I guess you were alive too, but I was in high school. <laughs> but I watched it religiously. I love the show. I'm excited and slightly nervous that mm-hmm. it's back because it's hard to capture lightning in a bottle. And basically, season seven on was kind of shitty anyway. Mm-hmm. So, and they had yeah. about ten seasons, right? Nine or ten. Yeah, yeah. I stopped when when the T1000 came on board <laughs> instead of Takagi. <laughs> But Jillian Anderson, was, it was an interview with her. She actually said, yeah, they offered me initially half of what DeCoffey was getting for the return. It's freaking stupid. Why? And, yeah, because it's like you can't really have one or the other. Like, yeah. You really have to have them both for this to succeed. You, and, and you think that they both been just, equally yeah. important to the, the brand. They are. They are. And and she initially, I maybe mean, initially she didn't get it, but they ended up going, oh yeah, we should probably yeah. give them they, the same. And she got the same, but she said it in like a, like a Hollywood reporter uh, from um, <coughs> from the Hollywood reporter uh, in one of the interviews, and it just kind of went under the right. Like it didn't really, really? hit much. You know, <laughs> because they ended up giving her the money. That yeah. I think it didn't pick up track. Yeah, but they almost so, they almost shot themselves in the foot with that. That's well, just we, haven't, we haven't seen the show yet. We'll see if they, how much they shot themselves in the foot. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm. The last movie wasn't very good. Um, it was essentially almost a direct to DVD. Came mm-hmm. out a few years ago. Yeah, um, I didn't even know about it. And then. Pretty much for me, pretty much from the movie that came out while the series was still on, from mm-hmm. that around that point on, I just kind of stopped. Like it got convoluted. The standalone episodes, the ones that were like the Creature of the Week stuff, that was all always really great. Like there's some great stuff. I've been rewatching some some of those mm-hmm. because the other stuff got so bogged down mm-hmm. in like the conspiracy stuff. But the like the Fluke Man episode, and I don't know if you ever saw those. I don't or think not. so. Well, I, well, well, I'll have to like make a list of maybe in my top five and get you guys to watch it because I'm telling you, those are really good episodes. The one episode I remember it was the Bee Harvest episode. Yeah, probably not one of the best episodes. Of the yeah, year, probably so. not. Um, but that's but anyway, I so DC Comics, we all read DC Comics in here, kind of off and on. Like <laughs> as of late, not so much because yeah. of the third reboot pretty much i mean they have new 52 but then they kind of like oh we're not doing new 52 anymore but we're still doing new 52 well now that all the original new 52 comics are hitting 52 that issue 52 they've been teasing that they're gonna do another reboot why (laughs) comics i I know comics are kind of like one of those things where it's kind of like my thinking my thinking is okay yes they're selling a little better than they, they were but my thinking is they're rebooting it because of the movie franchises. Just like Marvel, kind of the reason they rebooted Marvel was to kind of be closer to. Yes, Kyle. This is not a school. You can, <laughs> you can raise your hand, Kyle. Well, I don't want to interrupt you. Louder. But <laughs> I have looked into it. Disney, you can talk about rebooting. Kim Possible and Recess are coming back. Whoop, whoop. Recess me. What, what's old Kim is Possible, new again? Yes. I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of stuff is rebooting, though. Like, I mean, Samurai Jack. As, 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 yeah, Samurai Samurai Jack, as told by Ginger, randomly, which is like a Nickelodeon well, you, show you from know the why, right? late it, 90s. You, but I loved that show, girl, because it was you like... Guys, you guys, um, 
in your early 20s, that was a show y'all grew up on. Mm-hmm. I grew up on it, too. I watched all those. Well, yeah, I mean, you probably sat yeah. down like, yes. Yeah, well, I was watching Wacky Races. So, I, fuck <laughs> you and Wacky Races. No, dude, I only said that because of freaking South Park. So. Yeah, I actually liked Wacky Races at the time. But still. Dude, I watched Wacky Races. Wacky Races. Wacky Races. Wacky Races. Scooby Scooby With Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah. Did you not remember that episode? Yes, I did. Actually, I think there was. But anyway, so, yes, it looks like a relaunch in June, which... Kind of fits with the post uh, Batman or Superman and all of the new DC stuff. So yeah. I have a feeling it's going to kind of mirror some of that stuff. But they also just came out with yesterday, I guess the twenty second, they premiered DC Legends of Tomorrow. Yes, I which watched I heard it. Was really good. It I was watched it. Top trending okay. on Twitter yesterday. <clears> so. This will kind of segue into my next story as well. It is essentially DC's Doctor Who. Okay, that's what I would call it. Um, is it a comic series or a movie? It's a TV, TV show, series, show. On it's the CW. third. It's the third. It's the second spinoff from Arrow, essentially. Yeah, yeah. On C- it has on CW. Hawkman. So it's live action. Live action. Yeah. Okay. Hawkman. It has Hawkman, Hawk Girl, so uh, in Vandal it? Savage, Same Kendra? yeah, Kendra, who's now White Canary. Um, uh, it's got uh, Storm, whatever his name is. The the like always want to call Firestorm. 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 Um, You're welcome. Thank you. I always want to just call him Flame On for some reason. Um, <laughs> but it's Mr. <Mister, clears throat> Flaming. Mr. Flaming. Um, and they've got um uh, no, yeah, they had Adam. Adam the uh, the Adam's in it, nice. uh who, who's still uh Superman. The Adam or Captain Adam? Adam. The Adam. The Adam. Okay. He, it's uh Brandon Ralph plays him. He was Superman Superman. He's Superman. been in the arrow. Yeah, he's been in the arrow, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, and then there's, uh, hot damn, hot damn. And then, and of course in the premiere, um, you see, it seems to be their new thing. Whoever, when there's another spinoff, uh, Stephen Amell has to be in it. Yeah, like, always. Yeah. He's like, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty much like, here's the nod. You're part of the community. He rolls out the carpet. And, but from what I'm hearing, and he shoots his ears. The, the thing I love, like the very first episode, they actually go to 1975. And it's kind of cool. Cause you've got, you've also got snark. And uh, the mm. fire guy, they're yeah. in the group as well. Mick Fire Guy, the Mick Fire Guy, <laughs> the guys, the guys from from uh, Prison Break, pretty yeah. much. Um, oh, you're talking about Captain Cold, Captain yeah, Cold, Captain uh, Cold, and whatever the other guy's name is. Yeah, <laughs> Mick Flamey. Mick Flamey. Flamey. <laughs> the guys from, from he's the Scottish or the British. Or <laughs> so, but anyway, they're it, it's kind of cool to see them. They're going to be time traveling. And from what I understand, Jonah Hex is going to be in an episode. They're they're going after Van, they're going after Vandal, Vandal Savage. Savage Ooh, is basically what it is. Okay. So it, it's very and and also what I'm hearing is that from season to season, as long as there's more seasons, the cast will change up. Like Constantine That's might cool. be in next season, and then they the, just the, kind of shift. Yeah. Around. So it's basically it, it's kind of like an effed up. It's Justice a who's League. who. Yeah. It's it's an interesting concept. It's uh, like the a first young episode. Justice. Yes. It feels. It feels very compa- like there's almost too much going on mm-hmm. in the pilot, so I'm kind of I kind of want to see how they develop the characters. Is this on demand? It's no, it, it's, it's or a CW. no, it's just CW. Sorry, on the CW like yesterday. yesterday. And they yes. but CW puts every puts their shows online. They do yeah. put them online. It's also okay. if you have Hulu. But if you YouTube. don't, don't catch Hulu it, yet. if you don't catch the CW shows at, pretty soon after they air, like they only put a certain mm-hmm. number out. It's like five max. Yeah. 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 So I, I I I recommend it, and to someone who's a Doctor Who fan and a DC fan, there's because they're like time masters, mm. and so you're like, eh, okay, I'll go with it. And like, there's the League of Time Masters and all this stuff, but they're human, and they don't have two hearts. So <laughs> it, it's it, it is. I I don't think it was as strong a start as. Flash was. Flash was so good pilot. Had such a good um, pilot. Arrow was a good pilot. Arrow too. was really good too. And I, but I don't think it was quite as good as Arrow's either. But I think it has a lot of promise. But I think There's the so, problem is it was so many characters. They're trying to introduce a lot of people. And you had to introduce something completely different in the mythos of of Yeah. Everybody's expecting Time Batman, travel. right? Like Okay. You mentioned Snart. Yeah. Is he gonna be one of the good guys? Yes. Okay, interesting. Because they even they they, they basically his his thing is Sure, I'll come along, kind of thing. Right, and he's like, you know what? I can still shit like from all over time. So yeah. his, his his reasoning behind it isn't entirely good, but you know, because deep down he's kind of like he's still a decent guy, he, kind of. He's, yeah. he's, he's 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 like one of those anti heroes yeah. kind of characters. And uh, Mister 
flame dude. I always forget. Are you, talking, are you keep talking about it start, the Snart's actual the ice guy. guy's name? Captain Cold. Yeah, Captain, yeah, Cold. Captain Cold. So I think, that, I think the big thing, though, about especially about a show like this, is that you're introducing a very different aspect of DC to yeah. popular culture than what typically it is, yeah, people consume. Like, it's sci-fi. See, mm-hmm. they're going to be doing that with Suicide Squad, though. Yeah. There's like six of them all in one movie. Oh, well, I, I can't wait to see that movie. It looks like, like the newest trailer was really Since good. the freaking tra- trailer they had. Oh, it was legit. It, 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 it was very Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. That was the vibe I got. So, But it, I would say check it out if you're a Arrowverse fan i would definitely check it out if you're a doctor who fan i would check it out you definitely see the comparisons because there's a lot of it you're like and there's little nods to other stuff to do right see and like i said jonah hex is going to be on an episode so i'm guessing they're going to the old west yeah. there's going to be a lot of like characters so i'm, I'm I wonder kind of excited if they'll end up putting I, I can they see. Would. I, I would see that next season if yeah. they bring if they bring on Constantine. Because Zatanna is a big part of stuff like that. So, um, so, so going from that to Doctor Who, Stephen Moffat, the showrunner, is leaving, leaving after the next season, which we're not getting for an entire year. Yeah. Like what? That's yeah. a really. It's really early to to, to announce he's stepping away like that. Well, I he think. <clears throat> right. Um, kinda. Yeah. The the guy taking over is actually uh, the guy in charge of uh, broad in charge of broad uh, broad church, which has David Tennant in it. So maybe I don't know. I'm guessing there's some connection. It's BBC. It's all very kind of textual mm. kind of anyway. Never. And I mean broad church. Broad church was a pretty good series. Cool. So, but he's leaving. In, he's leaving uh, after the 2017 season. They will be doing like there's nothing. But oh, that took a while then. Yeah, there's nothing between. Wow. Uh, the last Christmas episode, yeah. and there'll be a Christmas episode, and then there'll be another season. So there's literally no Doctor Who this year. For, for Full this year. year. Yeah. Oh, that's well. I guess you can catch up. Yeah, yeah. I can catch up because I haven't watched it. Before. It's so, okay. Daredevil. My girlfriend wants yeah, to watch Daredevil it. Yeah, Daredevil starting back up. We have a ton of series anyway. I guess. Game of so, Thrones. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Microsoft uh, renewed the trademark for Jet Force Gemini. I don't know if you guys remember Jet Force Gemini in 64. I played a little bit of it on the rare replay. It, it didn't hold up as well. The no, controls. no, no. It, the controls were extremely difficult. Yeah, the controls. <laughs> I remember I remember when it, when it, when it came out, I, I, I loved it. Like, and I loved the soundtrack. I loved the idea of it. But the controls didn't hold up. But that means that Rare is possibly working on a new platformer, which I'm kind of excited for. So hopefully that's a good thing so i want them to bring back conquer yeah um <laughs> i'm pretty sure they will I, at uh, this point i'm pretty sure well they have that pirate game they announced to be three coming out first it does look interesting uh sony pictures has an upcoming the he-man masters of the universe it has been passed by through i think there's been like 10 directors have gone through oh god um the guy who directed Freddy versus jason at one point was directing oh wow so now the newest person to step I didn't up mind that movie <laughs> not, I, I oh, didn't either. Not Michael Bay. No, uh, <laughs> but to me, but to me, it's almost as bad as Michael Bay. It's okay. Mick G. I don't know if you're familiar with Mick G. Uh, he directed the Charlie's Angels movies, which I absolutely hated. Yeah. I thought they were just like, like, like it was just. But TV wise, he did Chuck. He did I Supernatural. Love Chuck. So TV, he's you, great. Yeah. You know what? I still think it'll be better than Fantastic Four. Well. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of things that'll be better than Fantastic Four. I, I understand Four. that. I'm just saying I think there's potential here. <laughs> so, um, speaking of Destiny, we, we talked about that earlier. You're playing. We yes. played a heck of it. Looks like Destiny 2 has probably been pushed back. Every AAA title. That's I, understand that. I, I understand that. Because I still need to that. finish Taken King. But I kind of wonder if it's... Because from what I understand with the development for the first game... A lot of the story got pushed aside and actually got put into Taken King. Well, it's because the yeah. writer, the main writer from the first game, <laughs> he, he was... He, he was let go or yeah. quit or something like mm-hmm. less than a year before the game came out. So that's why you saw all that shit like online specifically. You had the, what those cards that you were collecting in game that you right. had to read on Bungie's <clears throat> app or the website. Yeah, that I, was where the story was. So. Yeah, which was, speaking of which, just this, not the same thing, but the same thing with story. And we talked about this in our Game of the Year episode. Um, Battlefront, very minimal story when you play the game. I got a book that they sent me. I swear, is like six inches thick. Like it's a huge I was gonna say, novel I've seen it. based on the story. Like it had an entire story. I was like, "Where the fuck was this in the game?" 
So I will say Battlefront was fun to play before the movie came. It out. was for about two weeks. After and that, then I got bored. You got the movie in you, and you're it's like, a beautiful good. game. It just it wasn't finished. Siege me. It just felt yeah. Give me, <laughs> give me siege. Uh, so yeah, and, and and they have a whole bunch of people helping. I, it sounds like they kind of listen to people, and they've been really good. Bungie has been listening to people about what was wrong with Destiny One, and I think that's a lot to do with it as well. Um, Wonder Woman has a release date of June 23rd, 2017. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the trailer. I saw the trailer. I haven't yet. It I looks really yet. good. Chris Pine is Captain Rogers or whatever. Mm, Rogers, uh, yeah. his, her boy toy. And it's set in World War One. So Very nice. It's it a looks, very nice time frame. <clears throat> oh, man, that. I can't wait for a bunch of dagger helmets. Yeah. She looks really good. Like, I, I'm, I still haven't heard her speak very much. Um, I, I kind but of, she's not with Superman or Batman. Yeah, so uh-huh. I, I wonder if Rogers is going to show <clears throat> up on Batman v Superman, Superman as no, no. an older person. Yeah, it, 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 it's essentially DC's Captain America. Yeah, it's essentially which I don't mind the at year. all. Actually, actually, I don't think he would show up I because think he, he'll be dead. Yeah, if if unless World War One was. He said World War Two. No, World War One. Oh well, then yeah. Yeah, um, unless unless he's on uh, Theramascara. Uh, that's immortal. true. Unless he's on Theramascara, and then if he's on Theramascara, he might not age. And he may not age stuff. as fast or at all. But so, the rule is. Yeah. Well, there, there, but they were there have been men him. on there yeah. as well. So anyway, we'll get into that later. The rules have Justice been League Part One uh, got a release date of November seventeenth. 2017, so I know what I'm doing for my birthday. Oh, Which, what, what, what? No. Wait, what? What? November. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> what is? Back to back months of hell. What? Yeah. Star Wars got pushed back to December. Well, for I'm, 2017. I'm about to mention this. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars got pushed back to December, and it took the spot that Avatar 2 was going to have. Pirates got pushed forward. And Pirates got pushed forward, so yay. <laughs> so it's coming out earlier. I understand. I've, bro- I've I've talked to a few people at Disney, but I I, I kind of came to my own conclusion before I talked to them. I'm pretty sure the reasoning wasn't just retooling a script and all this stuff. They realized they created a holiday coming yeah. out on Dece- on that day, in December. Yeah, are they? It's, are they it's a non denominational holiday in yeah. December, basically now. Huh? Are they aiming for the 18th? It's the same. Yeah, it's the same time. Period. Oh, I was gonna say it's golly, the same date. It, it'll be the. It'll be. It'll be the same time period probably for the next <coughs> six years. Yeah. Myself, so, too much shit which is funny because if you think about it, if you know if you know what's going on over at Disney as well, they're building an Avatar land inside of. <coughs> Sorry, one moment. If you know what's going on at Disney, they're building an Avatar land inside of Animal Kingdom, so they've got a connection to Avatar as well, and they're building a whole bunch of. So yeah, yeah. Is pretty, it in Disney? I thought it was Universal. It's not Disney. No, it's a Disney. It's a Disney. Can we just call it James Cameron Land? James Cameron Land is right, pretty much it. <laughs> blue, blue Nether region land. Oh, well. So I'm, that's kind of curious. As to that's, how that's it work. with our. That's it with our talk nerdy to me. We're gonna take a quick break, and we're gonna be right back with our WTF. Autobots, roll out. Guys, I'm bringing the party to you. Okay, and we're back. Um, I kind of wanted to ease into our first WTF. Double T F. No blue balls on that one. Well, no. Well, there's oh, oh there's gonna be blue balls. <laughs> so, so I just kind of want to ease into the first story. The the first story Warm is, is more bit. of a <laughs> a, a, a new thing that's going on. And I kind of wanted to talk about this as well. Um, apparently in London, there has been a spree of people in the, quote, hoverboards uh, uh, thieving from, like, shoplifting and stuff like that from stores. On hoverboards? On, which are not hoverboards, by the way. They're just freaking skateboards. They're electronic skateboards. They're like segways without handles. Yeah, they're like, and they catch on fire. Have you seen them? What the got, fuck is oh, that? Yeah, yeah, that's great. I've seen them. Oh, they just so, oh, oh, my, my, my thing was, okay, this is great. This isn't the Lexus one? This is those little ones that the people... Swa- what are they fucking okay, like? The swag, no, no. swag something. So we're not yeah, talking about the Lexus hoverboard. No, we're talking okay. about those stupid the little, little things. The little, little wheels. Yeah, yeah. They don't hover. I mean, they're like... 
Anyway, I think <laughs> the board like, hovers off the ground in between the wheels. I'm, I'm insulted. Yeah. So does cars, but so right? I'm, I'm getting my hover car now. <laughs> so I, I get insulted by that, but that's just the engineering. I didn't know they actually now. caught fire. Yeah, had my car now. So yeah, my so one I like. It's funny to think of the idea of that, but the other day I actually saw there's about four guys on the near in, near my house, like in a little pack. And I was thinking to myself, what would a pack? <laughs> Of those people will be called oh, dipshits. Well, that too. <laughs> Potential flame hazards. Yes, I, I uh, burning hazards. I thought a flight. You would call them a flight, would you not? I'd still call them dipshits. Okay, a flight of dipshits. <laughs> so or a flock. Yeah, a flock, a flight. A um, I like it because dipshits, you're on hover. Dipshits no. just you, you're just Paul Powell. I just always think of from. I didn't know they caught fire, but that kind of makes yeah. Sense yeah. I, supposedly, I, because I, I watched over, I watched a video. I but saw printed, a cartoon. You know, it's rend- when they're charging of it, which something funny, and then so. short circuit. Then they're they made the the, the, the batteries okay. are actually too strong for the motor, from what I understand, and so they're like, oh, so, that won't be a problem. That might be a problem. Circuits. Let us give them a better battery. Did you hear the recall? This is a little bit different. Did you hear about the recall for? For airbags, there were some airbags that it deployed. They're actually shooting shrapnel. Yeah, I'm like, I remember hearing about. Jeez, them people. Yeah, like, I'm we're gonna save your. <coughs> yeah, well, I don't know if you. First of all, airbags don't completely save your life. No, There's they do. Potential not. to save. They have your a life. potential to save your life, but still, shrapnel. That's so kind of yeah. The shrapnel up. afterward is gonna. The, the shrapnel over. killed them. Yeah, it was. It was literally the shrapnel. That and killed guess them. who yeah. got sued afterwards? Uh, I think it was Ford. Yeah, Ford I'm actually. Pretty made, sure. That I didn't realize that that people made airbags like 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 competing companies, competitive companies make airbags for other car companies. I didn't realize that Ford made the bag, and it was like in a Honda. Wow. So. Yes, I was just talking about gaming and nerd stuff. I'm, That's I'm, interesting. I just think actually. it's interesting. So, anyway, so let's get into let's get into our last thing for the episode and mm. our most important thing because here at TFGP, we really, really care about our listeners. And and as someone who's who's been through a lot of depression lately and been very upset, I I think this is a good thing that we need to to help out our listeners. I feel like we're about to have. We are about to have a sex talk. So, okay, apparently there has been uh, several studies from New York University about doctors claiming that BJs, or also known as blowjobs, for some people out there that don't, Ew. are good for, a woman, okay. for, for, for women's health. Okay, but, okay, my quick question, though, is uh-huh. it specifically women or, like, dude well, no, sucking no. dick? Also, maybe a little bit happier well, than in the well, average I mean, other every, male. Everyone's, gonna everyone's happy in the <laughs> end. Everyone's happy. Right? Well, they've actually proven, That's too, funny. a little bit that uh, combing this um, can actually help with depression as well. So it might be just the act of pleasing could be part Someone of it. Else. Probably. Yeah. So, I mean, it is. It's, 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 it's something to do with the semen as well. Like, something with the semen has a calming capacity in it so maybe my wall beautiful full of semen i don't know i don't want to know maybe i'm answering that bucket of cum question it's literally just like a little pill of pill of cum just yes just there you go eric <laughs> no, no, it's, it's gonna also, happen it's eventually. also got protein too you so. know, there, there's a new diet there's, i swear if it happens you're gonna be pissed that you didn't patent that so no there's a new diet that apparently it is freeze-dried uh turds what like what something, the fuck yeah I, I'll have to research it a little bit more. So, fuck so, no. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> you're bucking a turds and bucking a semen now. So, anyway, so we wanted to help. But, so, they... they this okay. world is going to fucking burn one day on because of fucking frozen turds and semen. It's going to crack. <laughs> so, so, apparently, though, some of the... Uh, and I wonder if it's per person. It, it, it kind of seems in the study that it might be per person. Um, people can actually some of the stuff that you need for for antidepressive uh, depressive stuff, like like certain uh, melatonin and, and cortisols and stuff like that, are actually in the semen. So basically, so basically, if I'm taking Wellbutrin, I'm like I'm like Freud. I can just like help people with my with, with my. Semen. You can also help yourself, you know. I haven't I haven't developed that yet because <laughs> I'm not leaving the house after that. So anyway, so that is our WTF like room. Yeah, or ever. Like I'm 
Okay, so um, stop polypating. Yeah, we're just gonna. So, guys, <laughs> thank you guys for listening. Um, it has been really, really difficult to get back mm-hmm. um, on the saddle, and I'm very happy to be back, and I'm happy to be back with some of my best friends. And this is, I, I I'm glad this is the group that we got together since you know we've been doing this for what almost it's over. It's over a year now. Over a year, a year and a half. Now, yeah. So. I'm very excited to be back. And we're going to be back. And make sure to check out all of our old shows on Cinelinks.com, as well as our shows on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, your mom, <laughs> um, uh, the Wellbutrin website. Uh, it'll be all over that stuff. So make sure to check those out. Also check out SCNS Live on their YouTube page, as well as Cinelinks.com. And, of course... Make sure to check out something.com for all your nerd news, reviews, and other stuff. Yes, you're raising your hand again, Kyle. Because <laughs> you're talking. What a dick move for me to interrupt uh, you. I know. Go ahead. I don't want to. Okay. okay. No, I want to now. Okay, now you're loud. Yes. Don't forget to take your chills pills. Yes, don't forget to take your chills pills. And uh, I think you're actually... I, I, are you uh, volunteering? <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> Fuck no, I'd die first. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I guess that answers the, the, the bucket question. So, Would it be a little bottle of bukkake? Yes. <laughs> I'm just the least bukkake, Katie. You I wanted to put that in there. I just needed to say it. It's you're the, so, you're the, you're the that would only be like person the, that has said that today. That no, is, Nina said it earlier. So. And, and, that'll be, yeah, and that'll be after if, Yeah, we're going to have the after hours. Yeah, so it's a little hours. segue into the after hours. So, so make keep sure listening. A- afterwards we're going to have some stuff that happened in the middle of while we're recording the show <laughs> and it is very like it's it, it's almost our wtf by itself so, yeah it's very so, descriptive. Um, got pretty close thank you for listening uh make sure to check out my stuff on instagram father gamer at twitter and father gamer i don't think father gamer except for the other people that are not father gamers and exactly. the father gamer. so yeah. whatever um we're gonna be streaming some more stuff on Cinelinks, youtube and all that stuff and make sure to check out our show notes make sure to check out Mike <laughs> at Silverhawks on Twitter. Twitter, Instagram. Um, I used to have Tumblr, but not anymore. Yeah, you, uh, unless you're complaining about stuff you don't need yeah. to do on Tumblr. I repost a lot of stuff. I reblog a lot of stuff on Tumblr. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about all my pictures that I posted. Is it all, all about Bukaki? Yes. yes. Okay. I did I did create She's the like, least depressed person in the room. Uh, <laughs> I don't wonder why. Because she takes her jizz pills. <laughs> yes. I did create a Tumblr for Father Gamer Productions. So that we can post. Well, I articles. have a Father Gamer one as well. So, uh, 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 so that was actually where we started. Our very first website was on Tumblr. So, really, nice. um, Kyle, Metal X twenty five on Twitter. Yep. Yes, and Katie. Um. So my Twitter is still the Squeaky Duck. Um. <laughs> Not my... still the Squeaky Duck. Okay, it's sorry. It's at the Squeaky Duck. Thank you. It's Darth but, Katie. Right. Darth Katie. <laughs> no, um, and then my Instagram is Katie Cakes with all K's, no C's, and there's a period in between. The yeah, I Katie noticed and the, the cakes. change. I was like, what? Yeah, and then my Tumblr is the same. Thing. Okay. I mean, I have links to everything on my um, fucking Twitter. Well, Just guys, there. thank you for listening. Thank you for putting up with our entire our while well, we are fucking most. Uh, yes. Real people. quickly, <laughs> Silverhawks, no vowels. Okay, I don't care. But anyway, no, we don't care. But uh, thank you again for listening, and as always, achieve greatness. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. And now some outtakes from our very unexpected guest during our recording session. Very interesting discussion. What? I, the first time I played Smash Bros. with Katie, I don't think I could sit down for like six months. <laughs> that officially my, needs to be a soundbite. I hope you're recording. <laughs> it is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to me. Can we not? Can we talk about uh, how proud I am about that statement, though? Like, you're welcome, Nina. <laughs> Wait, what? what? I didn't tell her. No, 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 I said, no, no, I said they banned a game from Twitch for sexual content. Yeah, Yeah, like you kind of make people murder. Like you you can kind of coerce people in having sex with you or murder people. Like it's quite, (laughs) it's quite the adventure apparently. Isn't that called, isn't that called Tinder? (laughs) Or Grindr. But no, this, this game is called No Thank You, but it should be called like Super Semi-Sexual Assault. (laughs) 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 That's on the box. it's, It's completely.
perfectly voice acted, even the sex scenes, and you can oh, go into the God. options menu, and there are different, like, customizations for, like, the background noise, which is, like, moans, and then there's background noise for, like, <laughs> shit, which is, like, this is like, like, it's, like, the slurping sound. Oh, oh yeah. God. This has been at my house. <laughs> so this is best. essentially a jack-off game. Basically. Well, okay. I've been trying to but play fucking Mario. I kind of want this all in the podcast. <laughs> yeah, the best part is, it is might you be can change how much, <laughs> this is like how much body hair the characters have. Pubic hair only is an option. This is literally. <laughs> a, like, 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 we should make a bit about WTF. Nina talking about inappropriate games. <laughs> oh, I'm totally cool with that. So, oh my god. What's it called again? It's called No Thank You. And it's I'm a like, segment I can get of it just for adult free. games. Wait, I like the fact I can get it for free. From who? <laughs> I found it online. No, yeah. I know she plays like the creepy one. Well, I play creepy games. I've never, games. I've, I got never I've never played an R eighteen game before. But the best part was my first sex scene that I got to. Like as soon as it got like hot and heavy, like getting loud, my roommate gets home. <laughs> I like, quickly minimize it, and thank God it's got like this default setting when it's minimized the sound stuff. Because they like, know what the fuck people yeah, are minimizing but I'm for. Like, I'm really, bad. I was well, takes one look at me. You know, most of those games only require one hand as well for control. It's, yeah, yeah I, I do know that. Yeah, I was going to say, just the mouse. Yeah. There's a reason or you for can that. Clean yeah. And it's not for smoking. No, like, because lonely women are falling in love with graphic sushi. Oh, well, I mean, but it, okay, this one is like, she there's like two men are fishing, but two men are You know what the best is? power ever. No. I think I'm broke. It is now. literally <laughs> a bunch of dudes jacking off and coming on a person. Okay. Wait, so it's what just is like this? a cum party. <laughs> what, what is this? Bukaki. Oh, Do you need me to spell is? it for you so you can no. Google it when you get home? I'll Google it. Katie. Make sure you're on a work computer. I can murder you. <laughs> and I will also you. murder you. It's okay. We'll go to hell together. <laughs> Fuck you for everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's what the well beatrix for. We're, uh, yeah, that's what the well beatrix for. Actually, we're going to talk about that later on. Bukaki? So, not both. <laughs> well, <laughs> in, our and WTF, we in our WTF, it kind of fits into that. And Nina, <laughs> Nina's not a part of team of that WTF, so. Yeah. She's so, just about blowjobs. And how they're healthy for you. <laughs> She's like, I'm gone. Well, I mean, there is a lot of protein. That's literally what I said. Actually, you know, we talk about the protein. There's actually a whole bunch of scientific, like when I say scientific, it's a bunch of guys going, trust us. But I'm actually, gonna play my How to Train Your Dragon game. Thank you, because I got some new dragons. I have two cosplays to finish. Oh my god! So it's dragon or rape? That's that's basically. It's like. It's By the like, way, there are games that have both. <laughs> so, how to rape your dragon <laughs> they literally make your dragon dildos so yeah. that dragon is a very terrifying website I hope to god did you ever see that what was that movie with Sean Connery what was that let me write it down dragon dragon heart Dragon Heart. I love that I hope, movie. I, I, I hope the that God, movie makes it, me cry every time. The dragon. I hope the dragon dildo though has like sound effects from like you got your pussy on the job. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to you know, sell. I think it would sell. I think it would. <laughs> Money penny. Yes. It's called a quickening. Here's some of this. Trim, but that doesn't bother me. <laughs> talking about bad war movies, and I turned up the ring. I said that movie fucking terrible. People were like, "Why? It was scary." It's like all you have to do is blow up the fucking house while the bitch is coming out of the TV. <laughs> Problem solved. The bitch is already dead. Yeah, I had it. But had, you can't come out the TV no more. I when that movie. Because there's no TV. But that, I mean, like you, I slept in the bathtub like, after that movie came out. <laughs> Did you realize that I don't the tape is still out in the public? And she can come right back. I was gonna say she can probably come out. If she comes out of your store. By the way, who the fuck like uses tapes anymore? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that ended the that DVD. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so what go. asshole goes? You know what? I'm gonna convert this to DVD. <laughs> <laughs> and then to Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah, to Blu-ray. I'm pretty sure someone who wants to watch the world burn. <laughs> It has director. It has reverse dead. It has director. It has, director, it it has director commentary on it. Like, like, wait this bitch fun. is gonna come kill you. <laughs> you are so fun. <laughs> now, while we wait.